Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Sevlo's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Sevlo, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! Turn-based combat can be quite dry to watch at low levels, so I will take this opportunity to point out a few things, as quite a few of my viewers are new to D&D and Baldur's Gate. The red demon looking guy is a tiefling. Tieflings are basically what happens when demons, devils and other deities breed with humans. Despite their ancestry, they are not predisposed to evil alignments and vary in their approach to life just like normal humans. These enemies consist of goblin trackers, a bugbear, and the wolf-like creature is a war. Bugbears are significantly larger than goblins, around 7 foot tall, and tend to be covered in fur. One thing I do hope Larry adds are battle cries, reactions or comments made by NPCs when you select them. At the moment, with the pre-alpha footage, it's too quiet for my liking. In my opinion, having that interaction with your party members is going to be critical to my enjoyment of this game like in previous games in the series. The turn-based system should also lend itself well to multiplayer. I do take note of those viewers who watch my videos and comment all the time, so I will certainly keep you in mind for potential BG3 or Cyberpunk 2077 multiplayer games in the future. I'm going to switch on silent mode now, so enjoy the rest of the video.
That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! You must gather your party before venturing forth.